and with that we are ready to go joining the band face on border girl farming i haven't actually asked who's going to attack but they haven't told me so not my fault go for mix actually starting to attack so like i see getting the first attacking ban out there will ban blitz so that's our first shield operator gone maverick our first of the new two operators out of the mix as well no sneaky little kill holes no trying to get around your player uh, team by opening hatches up in the background you just have to try and play as maverick as you are used to legacy gaming also getting rid of clash so the second of the no not legacy gaming actually go for mix also getting rid of clash so the second of the newer operators also out so we're playing this like it's a season uh year year three season two just with a little tweaks and nerfs and our two new all new two newest operators i can't talk are definitely out pulse also a ban that you see mostly on a map like border which of course is what we are going to be playing right now so not a surprise that pulse is going to be banned and out of the mix still border now our first map of today we are going to see the glass ash bug dog ab and thermite on the et attack for go for mix and on the defense for legacy we are seeing maestro jaeger doc on the armory lockers and archives defense uh, i will go over the operators again after the pick phase which will be right now glass ash bug dog ab and thermite for the attack and still armory lockers archives with maestro bandit vigil Jaeger and Mira. And oh, no Valkyrie. <coughs> no? Nick? Switching off. It's on the sixth pick, but we'll pick the Echo. And I've talked about this. You are off to a good position if you are picking Echo for uh, any bomb defense. Any bomb. Because just having two yokais to just stun your enemy team is looking so good for yourself so the echo now coming out that's three ends that name is nick isn't it yeah that echo now coming out for nick will start us off so amory lockers archives again on border we have seen it uh three times today this is the third time i'm interested to see how this is going to go we have seen many different plays. Maybe we still uh, we'll see something different right now. Actually, on John C, we are definitely going to see the Mira again. That is one operator that is not banned. But that first Mira window will be placed toward the offices. That second Mira window hasn't been placed right now, but will be placed on the outside wall in Armory Lockers. Are oh, is it going to be placed right here? I think it is. Yes. So opening up towards CCTV, the player standing behind that, that will probably be XND, I think that's how you're uh, supposed to pronounce that, will be able to see through all the way to CCTV, which will be important for them later on. Larry already on his way inside, he's playing the OKAB, he's trying to get rid of cameras first, rusts towards uh, Armory, he's got one player right with him, and this Nick has who's an uh, not armory workshop right now being killed through the wall shiny finding that first kill as buck using rust's information finding the player finding the headshot and wow snick is in a 1v2 with the logic bomb coming out yeah not a really good start for him but from down below there is also going to be another explosion xnd now down to 25 hp that nero window is going to be opened up shiny already down to 10 but rust finding the next kill brings off a 5 v 3 zappy staying alive on site rust coming in from behind finding one kill finding two kills zappy at least will take him out but it's now a 4v2 the diffuser is on Riker. Uh, Rykos can be placed at any point in time. Nick needs to be careful because he's right now getting pushed by the Dokebi. That makes Zappi the last player alive on side to really defend against the Diffuser. Drones are coming in. Zappi should be spotted at this point. Nick still staying safe in his 1v1, but Shiny will find that last kill. And now it's all down to Nick. 
think his position is already known, but he's now in a 1v4, at least using his yokai to delay that bomb diffuse a little bit further. But Chinese will then find that last kill. And that looked like a good first round for go for mix against Legacy. Just completely taken out five players immediately with just losing Rust. Just losing one player. Five players traded in for one. Well, and Legacy with only one successful kill didn't start this off too strong. The attack first for go for mix definitely worked out for now but legacy has still room to come back thing is the way they attacked was good looking for go, uh, go for mix they started off strong they started off rushing in just trying to take every single position they needed to take to try and attack they got into offices they got into the main hallway to service stairs they got into the um the western balcony and from there on out they could try to at least open up that first wall to try and enable them to plant the diffuser and with all players still split up on site they had to look because one was coming from service stairs one was coming from offices and of course two were coming towards uh, armory they had to look to every single position they could possibly imagine their enemy team coming from and they need to split up to just try and stay alive, try and defend this. Of course, that really didn't work out because at that point you are just going to have multiple 1v axes and, well, you're not going to win those. At least not every one of them. And of course, Snickers an yeah, unfortunate first kill against Legacy. He went downstairs, was immediately, immediately spotted up by the Ash on uh, Rust, was it? Yes and with a logic bomb killed through the wall. Snicket in a really unfortunate position to start everything up. Still one mirror left on John C. That should be the same mirror placement. Is it? No! Let's look at this. Where's that first mirror gone? I've seen the second one. Is... No, it, it is not in CCTV. I've definitely, oh, there it is, in desk. I've definitely heard one mirror already being opened up. Rust will be successful with that. But what they instead have done was uh, leave that mirror gone, but open up the wall where that mirror was last time. And with that, they are trying to be able to defend with the same point. And right now, just at least have a little bit more sideline in the desk. Sneakers waiting in offices. Flashbangs are coming through. Ronan Rikers will at least find Snickers. Will now take some damage toward the Twitch strand. Noah taking out Nick, finding the first kill of the round. Snickers will be pushed by Rust, but Rust's immediately falling to the ground. Zapier finding the second kill against Noah. This is now a 3v4. Rikers coming around the side, finding Snickers, getting the next kill, bringing us all to a 3v3, and this is looking good again. Still, Zapier on a strong position. Could have tried to get the Thermite out of the game, but didn't, was a little bit too late. Another Thermite is nearly safe. Exothermic charge is going to be placed below Zapier. Uh, Zeppi, who really needs to change positions, will immediately get out of there. John C still down below, Logic Bomb coming through. Rikers trying to find a kill towards Archives. Larry, are in offices, just assuming a little bit more stronger positions. Trying to come in from main hallway. Enemy players are going to rush in. Rikers is going to find the first kill. XND trying to get a kill through the wall. There's one C4 coming out. John C will not do any damage with that. XND still staying alive. Impact's coming through. Smoke's already placed. John C trying to get a kill from down below. Won't work at all. XND still staying alive. John C down on the ground and now it's all down to XND. XND in a 1v3. Logic bomb coming through. So they should hear where he is going to come from. The player he was just aiming at is definitely not standing up so he's not going to hit that head the fuser is now being planted and now xmd really needs to do something because he has to act being forced to do so he's opening up a wall right behind him finding the first kill against rikers bringing this all to a 2v2 still has no idea where the rest of the enemy team is coming from both right now playing this in offices xmd coming through Will be heard, will be seen. Larry and Shiny finding the last two kills. Of course, John C already down on the ground. And with that, a 2-0 going in for Go4 for Mix. And Go4 Mix 
looking strong for now, at least able to keep off their enemy team of any rounds. And they are now sitting on a 2-0. Legacy really needs to be careful because at this point in a 2-0 situation, they really need to come back with a strong punch. And it's looking like they aren't able to deliver that punch, at least for now. Armory Lockers Archives, our next defense. Again, Zeppi on Mira, we bring up the Legion Maestro, the Vark coming off for Snickers at this point, Jäger being switched towards John C. Glass, Ash, Bakdo, Gabi and Thermite on the attack. And, well, the Armory Lockers Archives defense for now is looking pretty strong. Uh, the, the attack, the Armor Lockers Archives attack, is for now looking Defend pretty strong for Girl for Mix. And at this point, we're two rounds in. No matter what Legacy is going to be now, if they are going to be successful on a side, we are definitely just going to see it once. Because, of course, with the new rule set, you are going to be blocked from a side you win on for two rounds, meaning even if they are going to be able to win on Armory Lockers Archives, the next two rounds that will be blocked and they aren't going to be able to milk the, well, arguably easiest spot again. Because you really want to milk your map, you really want to milk the easiest sides to play on and for now that didn't work for Legacy, maybe. And I'm going to say this with a big maybe. Maybe they should try to place a player in CCTV. To just have him maybe even place a mirror window on that wall right here. You're, op you're closing that wall. You're reinforcing that wall. Why do you have no one playing there? CCTV is a strong position to assume. And with that position you can try to come behind your enemy team. To you can try to even see if anyone is trying to come towards offices. No one is playing CCTV and that is maybe even the problem for Legacy. They should be on that. Rust's already droning in. There's a player downstairs. John C finding the first kill against Larry. Larry trying to go into offices, I assume. Will be taken out by John C completely in the beginning. So we're now in a 4v... Uh, in a 4v5. Noah already in CCTV. And this is where one player in CCTV could have maybe even gotten one kill. Smoke grenade coming out for the Legion. So they are trying to block out that mirror window. And they are doing so successfully still. There is going to be one C4 in the hands of Mira. No one coming in from downstairs. Zeppi still staying on position. Still trying to hold off against his enemy team. That is now trying to go in. Noah taking some damage through CCTV. Snickers on the Valkyrie trying to deal and deliver that damage. Shiny with another kill successful against John C. Zappy at least finding one refrag against the Thermite. The Diffuser are down on the ground. There's going to be one grenade coming through. Rust finding another kill against XND. A second grenade being thrown any minute now. And there's of course the downed Mira. The grenade is coming through. Mira will die to Shiny. And now it's all down to Snickers and Nick. And if anyone would have tried to pick up that Mira, he would be dead now as well. That is such a strong grenade he throw. Nick at least finding that first player will deal some damage through uh, Snickers in the meantime. Diffuser is going to be planted. Maestro on Nick will see that Noah at least taken out Nick. That Diffuser isn't going to be, uh, too, isn't going to be planted too well. But Noah on the glass finding one kill right here. And finding the second one right after. Well I was just a little bit stumbled by that. We are still going to continue in a 3-0 and go for Mix looking so strong against Legacy. Ventilation Workshop now coming out for Legacy. It took them three rounds to lose to realize maybe we shouldn't play up here on Armory Lockers Archives. Because, well, it is really a, a hard decision to do because on the, uh, on the, on one end, that is the easiest side to defend on. But on the other hand, it didn't work out three times. Well, last round two times. Uh, yeah, but consider considering that the other two sides you could possibly play on, we are not going to mention Tellus, uh, are also 
not somewhat easy to play on they could still try and do that and they are going to try and do that right now we are going to see workshop ventilation and i definitely saw the glass who just took out two players in the end right there on the enemy team and zappy oh snick is running right in front of that impact and i think that is due to miscommunication because zappy looked like he wanted to open that wall and Snickers looked like he wanted to close that wall, which he did and was successful in doing so. The wall right next to it now opened up. I think that was the wall he was trying to attack the first time. That, meant, that means Zeppi now loses one impact or wastes one impact without doing anything to the yeah, wall right in front of him. And loses 50 HP together with Snickers who's also now down to 50. It is not the best starting point for Legacy Gaming, really. They are now sitting in a 5v5. Technically, if you're playing this like Worms, you remember in Worms, you get the uh, HP of your team completely um, added together. Uh, if you're playing this like Worms, we are now in a 4v5 HP wise. So now, 3-0. They finally have one player in CCTV. And Riker is already trying to attack. We'll see that play and immediately find the edge right against John C. And it was on a camera or not. But he will die immediately into the round. Snickers at least finding the kill against Rusts. Bring this auto a 4v3. Larry already on site. It is interesting to see how aggressive uh, GoFilmix is going to push every single round. And Legacy Gaming now with the castle still in offices. They've got Nick on site uh, on uh, Armory Locker's archives. They just have one player on site. Still, even if they lose this first half, 4-0, 4-1 or 5-0, which might happen after this round, they are still going to be able to come back because Epsonic did that in the first match of today. XMB still staying alive. Logic Bomb is coming out. Lowry, uh, Larry will find the kill against him. Now the last two players for Legacy are staying alive on site. One of those, Nick as mute. Finding one player, but not taking him out for now. The Iblana using her charges. And there's going to be a C4 coming through. That C4 will do absolutely nothing. Thrown completely on the desk, therefore no one will be hurt by it at all. Snickers just waiting in ventilation, but will be pushed, I think, soon through the main entrance. Because, yeah, this Riker is definitely already in supply. Still, Nick successful with that first kill. Is going to somehow sneak into supply, find that headshot, and bring this all to a 3v2. Shiny with the next kill against Snickers, and now it's all down to Nick. 1v3. What can you do? One player is going to be spotted. Diffuser is going to be planted as well. Nick not able to find the kill. Sitting behind the mirror window that is now open. Smoke being thrown. He's finding the first kill against Larry. There's still a glass staying alive. And Nick needs to be careful because he could be pushed from every single side. He has no idea where, well, two players are at this point. Diffuser still planted. The time running against him. He is coming free. And he is on site. But as soon as he's getting on point and defusing the diffuser, that will be hurt. Nowhere moving forward. Shiny moving forward. Seeing their enemy player. Trying to get that kill, he's still staying alive, but now there's Noah finding that last shot as glass and bringing this to a 4-0 for go for mix. Well, and like I said, a 4-0 or 4-1, how 5-0 uh, or 4-1 can still be brought back for legacy. This is the great thing about eSport. Even if you're back so much, you can still come back. For legacy at this point, it's just a thing of a huge amount of luck and so well played attacking rounds because they need to definitely have a flawless half how matter uh, how any yeah. <laughs> anyway this half is going to end they want a flawless second half because if it's a 4-1 a with a flawless half they can bring this to a 4-6 and win without even getting to an overtime if it's a 5-0 with the, when they get a flawless half they at least getting the overtime but they are hoping that they can at least get everything off the 5-0. For that to work, they of course need to win this next round. Which is possible, still, but a hard thing to do. Armory Locker's Archives going out again. Last round looked pretty close, still they are going to try to do it 
the old and uh, the old-fashioned way. And we are going to see on the defense ZP XND, uh, the Mira, the Echo, the Maestro, the Jäger, and the Doc on Johnsy. Haven't seen the Doc yet, so I'm going to keep an eye on him because with Doc we try to peek outside. On the attack, there's the Thermite, Doka AB, Ash, Blast, and Buck. Rust with his drone already in sight. Somehow able to keep that drone alive. Or was spotted by Nick. I'm not sure about that, Rust. Well, on the one hand, it's just a drone. On the other hand, you want to keep those drones alive uh, along, as long as possible. If you can keep those drones alive, you've got so much valuable information. As one drone of 10 completely lost, that's still not the end of the world. But could change the outcome of the game. Could, theoretically. John C, with his ACOG on the MP5, trying to get a kill toward the outside. For now, he's not going to be able to do so. Will actually take some damage. He's down to 25 HP. Will he limit the up to 67? I think even precisely that. So John C for now at least staying alive, knowing that he was attacked from the outside, he knows where his enemy team just spawned, well at least most of their players are now trying to defend against that. Nick on the Maestro already been spotted, will at least take out one drone. He's got four players right in front of him and he's trying to at least get the first one right there in armory, uh, uh, right there in CCTV. John C at least able to pick him up but Nick now down to 75 HP as an exothermic charge right in front of him blowing up. That wall is now completely open. Nick somehow getting out of their life but at the last second. Snickers still waiting in offices. Rust's getting the first kill against Zappy. He's now up the service stairs. Will now try to somehow find a kill toward that area. Nick taking some damage to CCTV. It's now right in desk. We'll find the glass. Noah down on the ground will be taken off by Nick. This is now a 4v4. XND still staying alive. Is getting back on site. Nick is also. And John C on the dock with another kill against Rikers. 3v4. Larry coming in from the main hallway. He's got busts right behind him. Shiny. Still on the bug, trying to somehow find his enemy team. John C with another kill and somehow this round is looking a little bit better for Legacy. Maybe they are able to bring their foot back into this half. John C with another kill against Larry and now it's all down to Shiny. Shiny in a 1v4. And if he can't do this, yes, Legacy is going to win this first, uh, their first round. John C still staying alive. Will die to shiny, but Nick finding the last kill. So now a 4-1. Which is looking a little bit better for Legacy. They are now winning their first round and they could try to get back up from there. Like I said, Epsonic was able to do that. Maybe they are going to be able to do that as well. Maybe. It is still a long way to go. It is still such a hard and, well, rocky way to go. Uneven. Let's say it like that. I don't know if they are going to be able to do so, but they are certainly trying. Valkyrie, Bandit, Vigil, Maestro and Jäger right now on the ventilation workshop defense for go for mix who are now just winning, needing to win one more round to get to their match point and to have a safe overtime even if they lose the next four rounds. Ash, Lion, Glass, Ying, Thermite going in for Zappi and Co. So the ventilation workshop defense. The Legion switch off to Valkyrie. Thatcher going in for Zeppi. I don't know how much, well, I, I, I'd normally say I don't know how much he's going to see with that, but seeing that of course his enemy team is going to attack from upstairs, uh, de to defend from upstairs. Uh, Thatcher will Attack definitely to try to do some work. I'm always forgetting that uh, this is an ESL match and not my typical ranked play. Which means they are playing this with three players up here and not with one player completely alone and completely thrown off. Because he's getting pushed by five. That one player would be me. Completely out of position. Which in the end is my fault, yes. But I'm still going to blame my enemy, uh, my, my own team. 
because that is how Rainbow Six works. So, all jokes and uh, my terrible ranked play, uh, ranked solo queue PTSD aside. Right now, go for mix. Two rounds to win this, and they are sitting on a 4-1, trying to win those set two rounds in the well. Right now, of course, in the next two rounds, Rust and Shiny seeing if they can somehow find anyone coming toward them. But of course, their enemy team is now coming toward South Balcony. Droning in will be the Lion on XMB. Was Lion banned? Am I completely going mad? No, he wasn't. Montaigne was banned. Lion was banned the last two rounds. Having three, uh, uh, having water three times in a row. You're just completely melting all three games together, don't you? No, Lion wasn't banned. This time, Lion wasn't. XMG, just getting out of there, is at least seeing where his enemy team is going to be at. Four players coming from the same position, and right now I'm asking myself, who is going to try and roam around? Who's going to try and flank the enemy team? Because for now, they are all trying to come in from the same side. And that is not the best position to be in. You definitely want to have someone to at least be able to drone. Right now, there's no one droning, right? Because seeing that first player won't be able to get a shot against him. Rust's finding the click against Zeppi. Of course, they are still completely downstairs. Nick finding the first kill against Rikers. Shiny will use his C4 and Rust will use his C4. That's two C4 kills for them. And it's now a 2v4. XND and Johnsy, the last two players still alive. Will try to take position up in the first floor. John C finding the first kill against uh, Rusts. They will be pushed in the meantime. There's still an evil eye up here for Larry. He's seeing two players, but will be attacked in the meantime. Still, second evil eye up, dealing some more damage. And John C and XMD, the longer they are staying up there, they will just take more and more damage by said evil eye. XMD already down T15 HP. John C at least trying to blow through, but that evil eye is still spotting them. John C is visual, uh, visually annoyed with it, trying to at least find no one. The castle nowhere now down to 20 HP. Still getting out of there, but look at his enemy team. XND on 10, John C on 10. It is not looking too good. John C at least hoping that no one will be able to attack from down below, but nowhere finding the kill against John C. That looked like he just got down to the ground at a bad paced died there right away but for one xnd still staying alive still trying to come in the diffusers on the ground he needs to take that we'll find noah but noah with the last headshot against xnd will bring this all to a 5-1 and well take this next uh, round for go for mix and Right now it's looking like GoFamix is actually going to be able to take the whole map because they are bringing us five rounds. They are completely annihilating their enemy team. And those five rounds didn't even last for too long, meaning they are just rushing in trying to get those kills. For Legacy Gaming, this isn't looking too good. They are now back four rounds. They've got four match points to just win in a row. They need to play four rounds completely flawless. Thatcher, Blackbit, Glass, Capitan, Thermite going in for the attack. And Valkyrie, Bandit, Legion, Mira and Jaeger on the defense. If they are really going to win this um, map, border, they really need to get everything back together they need to Attack somehow win anything all four rounds following and be able to get back to the comeback and the comeback is the important word to say here. they need to find a comeback which looking at it is not going to happen but i say that I've lost something, but I say that like it's uh, set in stone. They could still try to get the comeback while I'm looking for whatever I just dropped there. Hey, I found it. Um, 5 1. And, uh, well. Go for mix. Still looking stronger than I would have expected, actually. Like, normally, you expect uh, big organizations to be the best in those um go for 
uh, the, the, um, uh, tournaments. And of course, probably those big organizations, because the bigger uh, organizations put money in those teams, will actually get further. But um, go for Minx. I don't know if there's a good organization behind them or a big organization. For now, with a name like Go for Mix, they just look like uh, five friends playing Rainbow Six in the Go for. They are looking strong. They are looking stronger than I would have ever imagined, and Legacy, I'd say, doesn't even stand a chance here. Really. Larry now trying to stay alive on site. Has one player already grappled up? That is X and D. No one finding the kill against Zappy. Remember, Legacy needs to win this round. Rust is finding another kill, will at least be taken out by John C. Nick staying alive after all of this, using his smoke to keep John C alive to use the exothermic charge number one. Noah is still staying alive as Victory. That first wall is being breached open. They're still shiny right here in Armory Lockers. He's still trying to stay alive as long as possible. John C somehow getting forwards in CCTV is coming around the corner. Is trying to somehow find a kill against an enemy player. But for now, he will not be able to do so. Placing his claymore, holding off his enemy team for now. Nick slowly going in, at least opening that mirror window. XND still up, rappled at the window, will now drop down and take some more damage through vehicles. Custom is now down to 20 HP. He needs to be careful. Nick still staying alive as glass. He still has a sight on shiny, not shiny, who's that right there? Oh, Rikus. Question was answered really quick. Rikus down there, who will be taken out by Nick. XND now on his 20 HP on his way inside. Nick finding another kill. John C planting that diffuser with a smoke to cover him. Yes, Nick is going to be able to defend him best. From behind, there's another Mira. Larry getting the next kill. And now it's all on to John C. John C in a 1v1 at least finding Larry. But they're still shiny alive. Shiny trying to get the diffuser. John C doesn't even have to push him. But Shiny will come up, find that last headshot and defuse the diffuser. What a great last kill. Nick leaving the match. Shiny will defuse it. GG well played, and with that, GoFormix is able to win the 7th round and bring it to the 6-1. 10 kills on Shiny, and uh, well, 8 on Rusts. Really, really good looking round for Legacy. And Legacy just uh, completely tearing their enemy team apart, it's team. They were able to get one round at least, 